everyone and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon! Yay! Okay, last session we made Red Revolution, which became uh, a global hit and became like a new cornerstone for the entirety of the games industry or something. I mean, it sold over a million copies and generated almost 13 million uh, in bunnies, which is exciting to say the least. So I need to remember how to play. Um, we are going to research nothing because we don't have enough research points. Um, so we're going to make a new game. We're going to make, actually let's have a look, I wonder if I can make a new engine. Um, create custom engine. One, two, three, four, not quite. So we'll release another game under our engine. Uh, the next topic is a UFO game, because Red Revolution was a history game, that's right. So medium, uh, it's a UFO game, so we'll make it. Yeah, we'll make it like XCOM, so it's going to be mature, and UFO game is going to be like a, a strategy game on our favourite console, of course, um, and with Fox Tech 2. And we're going to call it not XCOM, we're going to call it Y come. That, that, that's right. Now, not, not come in the sense, you know, that you're probably thinking. Come is in the Latin word for come, which is, um, I don't actually, like it's negative come positive, like it's something becomes something else. So come is in become rather than the, the, the naughty thing you're thinking of. Anyway, let's just start. Uh, we'll have this guy go on vacation actually. Probably should have gone and go on vacation while Red Revolution was out doing its thin. Um, but we won't worry too much. So, engine uh, is important for a strategy game. I guess engine is important overall. Gameplay is quite important for a strategy game and story and quest. Probably a little bit, but yeah, we'll make sure we have that going there. There we go. So yeah, it's why come it's, it's like it's a, it's basically XCOM, but um. You know, I don't really know much about XCOM actually, so... Hi, this is Kurt and Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Fokker Games is working on a new game. I would... Uh, yes, I'd love to do an interview. Oh, well, what are my expectations? I'm going to be modest. Thank you for your time. So there's a bit of hype. Now, I've also figured out how to market games now. So we can actually market with all of these. We can market a game for two million. Um... I'm not going to make it huge, I'm just going to, I'm going to do magazines, I'm going to like, okay, I'm going to go for magazines and demos for most of my games, so I'm going to hype it up with magazines and demos for all my games, because it's a cheap method, and it's probably what I would do in real life if I was making sort of a big enough game, I would do magazine interviews and demos rather than giant campaigns, because if it's shit, you know, who aren't going to like that? Um, now, that's very important, and artificial intelligence is also massively important, I believe, for a strategy game. Gotta have good. You gotta have good people to um. You gotta have good AI to try and kill. You know. Otherwise, why come will be a terribly boring game. Um, I, I, I'm not even going to explain what the game's like because I think why come is, is just a perfectly good enough explanation. Oh, they're formally inviting us to games, 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 or G3. Awesome. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, world design, not massively important. Graphics are always important and sound design is important, so we'll try and keep them sort of all the same. There we go. We're getting lots of research points. We got quite a lot of bugs, but that's okay. Well, the hype's, the hype, there's lots of hype. The hype is real for this game. The hype is above 50. Oh, crazy. It's crazy. So nobody's making another bug. Oh, you made another bug. Iron out that bug. Good job. Well done. Oh, good, okay. Uh, good management as well. Sorry, I picked up my chair there. My chair was pretty low. So let's release it then. We'll have you go on vacation. We'll have, oh, here we go. Reviews are in for why come. Okay, could have been better. That's all right. Could have been better, yeah. You know, very good though. Informed Gamer said very good. Okay, excellent. Oh, good. Game Hero liked it. They like the gameplay, obviously, and, uh, you know, all games show, shows potential, which is okay, good, that's good, I'm quite happy with that. So, we will get you, my friend, to generate a game report for Wycombe, 
uh, and we'll get you to research the next topic, which is dystopian, which is exciting. We'll get you to research that. Now we'll also get you to research better AI, because once you have researched that, we will be able to go and uh, do um, uh, make a new game engine. If we'll be able to do. Ah, now how much was the next thing actually? 40 for the branching story. Okay. Mm-hmm. Be a bit patient. So there we go. Complete dystopian. Better AI. Game report. Uh, okay. Self-publishing. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to create a custom game engine now. So we're one, two, three, four for character compression, five for better AI. Let's do it, guys. Oh, I didn't name it. No, I didn't name it. Oh, it's just game engine number three. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we can get a medium booth. Oh. Well, we have a, quite a few fans, so we'll, we'll get a medium booth. I mean, I'm not going to go for a big booth because if we're not going to get the turnout, you know, we only have 70,000, 17,000 fans. So, like, you know, get, get a minor turnout and see how that goes. So, we'll get a medium booth. Anyway, so game engine number three, which is, uh, we'll just pretend it's Fox Tech. We'll just pretend it's Fox Tech um, free. I invested over 500,000 to a new engine. Yay, game engine number three is done. Here we go. Oh, oh, how many people do we have turn out? Oh, we had quite a few. Oh, white red revolution's our, our forerunner. But why come? Why come is is uh you know red revolution though. Red revolution's why. Oh, we had 77. We didn't make in top 100 boobs. Damn. Even though we had one of the best games of all time, uh, essentially, you know. Anyway, we'll research branching story for you, and then we'll start on a new game. So the next game is going to be a dystopian game for mature audiences, of course. Now, dystopian game is going to be an adventure game because they're fun. Um, PC, of course, on Fox Tech Free, and a dystopian game. So it's going to be like The Handmaid's Tale, except we're going to do the complete opposite of Handmaid's Tale. So it's the leg. What's the opposite of butlers? The leg butlers. But, but, I mean, Babe's not really the opposite to a butler, but you know, close enough. The leg butlers. What's the opposite to a tail? Mouth. I mean, I mean, tail is in story, but you know, um, if we had a legitimate tail, it would be the opposite of a tail would be a mouth or tongue. Tongue. There we go. The leg butler's tongue is our dystopian, dystopian game. So it's, it's um, it is like The Handmaid's Tale, um, but it's like instead of women being oppressed, it's men are being oppressed, and they, they you know, because in The Handmaid's Tale you have women who are essentially sexual beings who just are forced to have sex and then make children so instead we're going to be milking men and oh it's, it's going to be great you have milky machines and you have yeah this is great who doesn't love a milky machine come on i mean that's amazing i mean i'm going to add all multiplayer and character progression even though multiplayer is not going to be a bit but i mean i may as well add them because like i mean it's part of our engine so multiplayer is in our engine so I may not be for this game specifically, but I, I'm, since we're using the engine, multiplayer is supported on the engine. That's how that's how it's working in my brain phase. Brain phase? Brain hole, I meant to say. Brain, brain phase. Um, is that all these are part of the engine just naturally, um, is how I'm thinking about it in my head. So an adventure game doesn't really need to focus on the engine too much. The gameplay is not essential in the story, but the story, the story is is a massive essential essentiality. Um, ooh. The play system has been announced. Excellent. Well, that's brilliant. Now, I think later in the game you can like do multi-platform games. So if, when I do that, it'll, PC will definitely be, but then I'll kind of branch out and have them as console games as well. Uh, sequels. Oh, we can look at sequels. Oh, dear. Sequels are never really good, are they? Uh, so dialogues, quite important. Level design, not as much. And artificial intelligence is not really. Oh, I don't know why it's telling me that I need... There we go, okay. I guess, I guess, yeah, well, whatever. I don't know why it was giving me a percentage. Ah, yes, we better market the game. In magazines and demos. Let's market the leg butler's tongue. I like how I started making this game before the Wycom went off the market as well. Um, so that was great. So well designed, quite important. Graphics, not so much. Oh, I have to have graphics at a certain level, do I? fully use the 2D graphics. Anyway, I'm going to move that there. And sound. Sound is 
not massively important. We'll, move, we'll, we'll just make sure we got graphics up to a certain level. There we go, that'll do. I don't, I don't know what, what happens if it's under 100%. Maybe we're just not using it to our best ability. Oh, the play system is fine to be in release. So yeah, when we unlock multi, multi-platform games, we'll start doing that. Wycom is off the market. There's a clear trend towards casual games recently. Well, last time I made a the the one and only time I made a casual game, it was after shit. Well, not really. It was my lowest rated game though. Uh, Amoogaluga Luga Poo or something. Oh, it's like something like that. Amoogal Amoogaluga Luga Pa. I think it was that's what it was. Due to an increase, okay, so that good more salary. That, that's all fine by me. I'm fine and dandy with you raising your salary. If you're doing it, you're doing it. Well done. I'm proud of you. So let's uh, let's research day and night cycles as well. Well, here we go. The leg butler's tum. Oh, it's teasing with a ten, but I'm getting an eight. Played it for days. Wow. I don't know if it actually has days worth of content, but that's nice. Good game. Okay, excellent. Enjoyable, that's good. Who doesn't love an enjoyable game? And another eight. Oh, excellent. So that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. The leg butler's time. The milky machines really, really sold it. I think. Okay, we complete a business, complete day and night cycle. Um, ah, generate game report. Yeah, we'll get you to generate game report. Boss, I discovered that some really dead cave fans of Y come and create a fan game using a lot of material from our game. Don't make any money within just saying do it for fellow fans. No, we'll leave them. They're not making money off it. Then they're, they're not really infringing my copyright, are they? I don't really care. Anyway, I'll let. Uh, shall we do it? Yeah, I'll send you on vacation. And we'll send you. Oh, uh, we can research or train. Do I want to train? I can train you. We'll train you, and then we'll send you on vacation. Why come fan game breaks have been informed that your legal department is advised you to stop us? And I just want to say I'm very grateful that you didn't. Yeah, I'm, I, thank you. Oh, I'm glad we're one of the best companies. Oh, we got a winky. Was that a winky face? I doubt it was a winky face. I think it was just a smiley face. And we got lots of fans. Oh, it's really nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, we'll start developing a new game. We're going to develop a business game for everyone um medium game oh have i just been making small games did i have i not been saying those to medium let me have a look i may not been saying the medium i might have been neglecting those does it tell me that was a medium game i don't know i may just be neglecting to click medium on those last two um anyway i'll make sure to click medium this time so we're going to develop a new game medium game on that uh it's a business game it's a simulation business game, of course, on the PC, on with Fox Tech Free, <laughs> and it's going to call. They called Mind Yo Biz? Question mark. I mean, just a exclamation mark. Question mark. There we go. Oh, I did be a genre. Uh, simulation. There we go. Mind Yo Biz. So it's like um. It, you make, you make, you, you buy an office building and you kind of have to, you can decide what you want to do. So you can be, you know, you can be sort of a postage service or you can, um, you can just do, be an office building or you can be an insurance company. So you kind of decide what you want to do and then you do it, is how that works. Um, and then you kind of, you have to hire people, you have to fire people, you have to human resource manage, you have to, you know, um, you have to make sure you're, you're got employee contracts working. You gotta make, you gotta micromanage your business. It's like The Sims, but in business form, which is exciting. Um, gameplay is essential, I guess, and story and quest not so much, but kind of a bit. So there we go. So everyone's working together, which is good. Everyone's working. It's excellent. Uh, Leg Butler's Ton didn't sell amazingly. It was just a small game, I think. I don't think I said it to medium, which is slightly annoying. Uh, we'll get Ron Raglo to do that and Susie Manley to do that. So dialogue's not massively important. Uh, level design, again, not massively important because you have an office building, you just kind of do your own thing with it. Um, and, but the artificial intelligence kind of has to be pretty good in a simulation, I'd say. Oh, I didn't drag a staff here. Uh, sorry, we'll drag me there. There we go. Excellent, well done everyone. So mind yo biz! Exclamation mark, question mark, or in caravan. 
uh, which is a very cool punctuation mark. Ah, uh, so this guy's being real burnt out. We'll send you on vacation halfway through. Okay, you go on vacation, mate. Uh, we'll send, put you on there, put you on there, and put you on there. Okay, well designed, not massively important for a simulation game. Again, we are just in one apartment building. Uh, and graphics and sound, again, not massively important to these type of games. Although, I guess the sound design, and yeah, we'll, we'll put those up because I guess they're going to be put up slightly. There we go. Well done, everyone. So he's going off on vacation right as we kind of get into the end zone of the game, which is okay. It's better than, you know, as we're reaching the end of the game. Oh, I didn't hype it. I should market the game a bit. There we go. Okay, to sign out some bugs. There we go. So, okay, cool. I gotta remember market the game, gotta remember to click medium game. I gotta remember to name my game engines as well. So that's that, we'll send you on vacation just as we're releasing it. We'll get you to start researching a new topic of cooking. Oh, we can make a puffer game. Simply epic, okay, mind your biz. Uh, you can research dialogue trees. Oh, here we go, mind your biz. <gasps> it's teasing with a 10. Oh, mind your biz got a 10? How is that possible? I'm gonna get a nine on this one, yeah. Informed gamer, just they really don't like me. I must have done something to like <laughs> the editor or some shit. Oh, and you're only giving me an eight? What? Oh well, I got two ten, so it was decent. It's a pretty, pretty decent game. Uh, and you can research sequels, my friend. Yep. Okay. Cool. Oh, I can get to, what? Oh, yeah. Start list. So this tells me like what the. Okay. Cool. It's all right. So how are you? Ah, yes. You just finished researching that, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. You research dialogue tree, you research sequels. So, oh, we can develop a sequel. Ooh, well, that's slightly weird. Do I want to do that yet? Okay, I don't think I want to do that yet. I don't think I want to develop a sequel just yet. Now, if I have a look at the create custom game engine, we got one, two, three. We got three things to add. Oh, the surprise hit here, Mind Your Biz by Foxy Games, the computer controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I call myself talking at them at times. Well, what can I say? Stop reading and start playing. Okay, so, yep. Cool. People like Mind Your Biz. Um, do you want to develop a sequel, though? Sequels are usually quite disappointing, really. Um, actually, the second one's not too bad, generally. Um, I think... What we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, let's make one more game. Let's make a Puppers game. A simulation, of course. On the computer, because it's the only way to play a Puppers game. Puppers. Need to think of some food. <laughs> Need to think of some food. What foods haven't the Puppers game done? Uh, I don't know actually, they've done just about everything really. No wonder they've stopped making them, they're gonna run out of food soon. Uh, I mean, you know, could do like, um, what do I like? Ah, porridgeria. Porridge. Porridge. He doesn't love porridge. Porridgeria. Porridgeria? Porridgeria. Porridgeria. For everyone. Everyone can play Papa's Porridgeria because I love porridge. This is a new outro song. I'm saying goodbye because the video has ended. Da, 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 da. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And come back and watch some more as they come online.